Hello and welcome back to part two of this series on the walkthrough using Java library template. The last video we left off after completing the migration with looking at the main workflow and which is failing at the publish to Maven Central step or job. And in this video, we will set up our repo with all of the required credentials and GPT keys for publishing to Maven Central. Before we start, let's take a quick look at our main pipeline. The main build pipeline is a series of uh, chained jobs with dependencies that are triggered conditionally, depending. You can trigger the pipeline manually. It can be triggered by a push to the, the main branch or also when creating a pull request. All of this is all set up as part of uh, the workflow definition. and the pipeline consists of multiple job steps. First is build and run unit tests. So this is just a Gradle build test. Then we do have an integration test stage, which you might also be able to just drop if, if you don't intend to implement integration tests. Here you would run like more comprehensive tests using test containers, for example, which might spin up Docker containers and take a bit longer than the simple Gradle build and running unit tests. So it's kept um, separate to better distinguish and simply better parallelize the, the workload on GitHub Actions. There's also code analysis um, where you could also plug in additional um, analysis tools, but with the default setup, it runs the GitHub code QL analysis and also a trivia scan, which um, scans for security vulnerabilities that we will also cover in a later video to look at and how to review and maintain vulnerabilities. And yeah, last but not least, what we will focus on today is our publish to Maven Central. Before we head to that, if you scroll down further, here you will also get a bit of a summary on all of the tests that have been run. If tests fail, you will also get a report which tests have failed. They will also be annotated in the, the changed the code changes on the pull request, for example, for you to, to debug and check out where you need to fix tests or fix your code. The pipeline also uses caching. So the build step writes to the cache, Gradle cache, and all of the subsequent steps use kind of the cache to, to yeah, more quickly build the project and speed up the pipeline runs and save resources and costs. If we check the publish artifact job, we will be able to see um, that the pipeline attempted to publish a snapshot version, since uh, this is just running from the main branch, triggered by a commit, not a release, and that publishing of the snapshot version um, has failed and while it in the end just says publish uh, pro completed with exit code one, if you look at uh, the more detailed log in between, you will be able to spot to see like could not read PGP secret key, which is required for um, signing your publication. Before we put in those credentials required, let me quickly show you where the main pipeline is located. This is in the dot GitHub folder, workflows, pipeline. And this is the entry main pipeline definition, which also uses those callable steps. For example, here, publish to Sona type, where we do have all the steps for publishing snapshots or release. Actually, this is the same definition. This, this is just for developer experience that in the summary, you can see if it attempted to publish a snapshot or if it's publishing a release and what is required. This is exactly those secrets. GPG signing key, GPT signing passphrase, and the sonar type, username and password. Again, one more bit I wanted to quickly show before we head in and provide those, those secrets is the Gradle setup. We do have uh, the settings .gradle script, where the root project name is defined. This is Java library template demo, and it includes a sub project Java library template demo, which is under this folder. 
Then we have the Gradle properties. Here, the artifact version is maintained. And this is also automatically patched and updated by the release process, which I will also explain in, in a follow-up video. So we will leave that as it is for now. Right now it's at the 0 0.0.1 snapshot version. And we have the build Gradle Kotlin script file. Here we can also see it's all set up for Nexus publishing, where we set the sonar type, which is essentially Maven Central, providing Maven Central as the Nexus and uh, snapshot repository. And here we read from the environment this credentials, username and password we need to provide. So this is um, the, the setup for Nexus. And in our Java library template demo, we have another built Gradle Kotlin script file for this sub project. Here at the top, we have our metadata. And this you would also need to update since like it puts in the actor part of the migration process it does replace the repo already and the developer id but it does not replace the name and organization details so if you want to make changes uh, you can do it here in the sub projects gradle file it uses the plugins java library maven publish and signing those two are required for publishing to maven central we will skip uh, the dependencies and integration test step and we will here find our signing definition for uh, GPT, GPG signing, which is required and need to match your GPG key. You also put in for Maven Central. And here is all of the publishing Maven publication Gradle setup defined. And I think that's it for the setup. So you know where to, you need to look if, if you want to debug or make changes. And now we head over and provide those missing credentials. It's also defined in the readme. If you scroll down all the way to publishing to Maven Central, you will find all of the required secrets listed here. So let's head to the repository settings under secrets and variables for actions. We will get our overview where we can see the CI GitHub token secret we put in the first video. And here we will now provide our new secrets required for publishing to Maven Central. I have also linked on the README file the official guide. And I think I'm not quite sure if there are also another blog post or anything mentioned. Yeah, essentially the sonar type website provides all the information you need to and the steps you need to follow if you do not have an account yet and are allowed to publish for the group you intend to you need to follow all of these steps to create an account create a ticket on jira and get all of this approved and authorized before you're able to release to to maven central so heading back here the first secret we'll need to put in is the OSSRH username. And I will now quickly fill all of this in. The username is driving.dev. We'll add this secret. Next, we will provide the OSSRH password. This I will not show, so I will fast forward and enter all of the four secrets now and we'll be back in a second. Okay, fast forwarded, I have put in all of the four secrets for GPT and Solar type. And with that, we can head back to our actions. And we can simply use the, the pre existing build and say we want to rerun all failed jobs, which will be the publishing the artifact to Maven Central. And if we trigger the rerun for this job and step in, you can see it's starting up. Set up Java uh, Gradle Wrapper, set up Gradle, and then trigger the publish to Sonar type, publish snapshot, which is now in progress and not failing straight away. So this is a good sign. You can see uh, the Gradle build taking place. We can see the generate Maven publication, signing of this and publishing. And here I think it's all run through and published which means we have our first 
library snapshot version published to the Sonar type staging repository. And with that, we all set up for publishing to Maven Central. If we want to check and see our new library in uh, Sonar type in Nexus, you can head to the Sonar type repository manager. We'll need to log in. Again, fast forward. I'm logged into thriving.dev. And I think I would need to head to staging repositories. Or is it just repositories? I think here under staging, we go to dev, thriving OSS. We now can already see, it might be a bit small, make it bigger, the Java library template demo. And here we can see our 001 snapshot version, which has been published. I think we can also see the timestamp. This was just done right now. It's the 25th of September, 2023. And we can see all of the, the Java docs, the sources, the chart itself, all of the hash, hashes and module definition, the POM, everything that's part of the Maven publication. And it's all already there in the staging repo. And the same will now also work straight away for publishing to the main Maven Central, the official Maven Central, which we will do part of the release process in our next video. And with that, I will wrap up for this session and see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.